Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you have seen my previous videos, if not, my name is Shauna. I am a New York City-based fashion model and makeup lover. So today, I honestly wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I pulled out a couple palettes and I was looking at them and thinking on one hand, it's getting close to Halloween. So I thought maybe I could do something more dark and vampy, but honestly, that's not usually my speed. I am going to do a tutorial very soon using the, um, Spellbook, I think that's what it's called, Palette by Lunar Beauty, but today I wanted something more fun and bright and poppy. So I pulled out a couple of my Kaleidos palettes. These are the Futurism 4 and 5. This one is very neon. This is 4 and it has four mattes and two shimmers and the shimmers are like very foiled, like intense shimmers. And then this one is a more teal and orange color story. I probably won't use that much from this. Maybe the shimmery teal color. Um, I don't know. Maybe I will. Honestly, I'm not sure. As usual, I'm just going to wing it and, and see how it comes out in the moment. And of course, stay tuned until the end to see the full head to toe look that I put together and take photos of. And if you like my videos, then I would definitely appreciate if you would subscribe, like, comment, all that kind of stuff. And so yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. So first I'm going in with the shade Glitch on a fluffy brush and it is a nice matte lime green color. I'm placing this above the crease on the intersections of the eyes. Now I'm going in with the shade Boss on a fluffy brush as well, and I'm placing that on the outer corners of the eye and bringing it down a little below the lid as well. And this is a nice bright matte orange shade. hologram which is a shimmery golden orange color and I'm placing that between boss and glitch and now I'm taking the shade game over which is a bright matte red and I'm placing that in the crease to add depth and dimension This was a point at which I just was really letting go. And now I'm taking the color Easter Egg and with a blush brush, I'm placing that on the forehead and just basically using my entire face as a canvas. Now, 
as usual, I am taking the Fenty Sunstalker Bronzer in the shade Shady Biz, and I'm just keeping it on the cheek area at this point since I have so much going on, well, around the jawline as well. And I'm going in again with the shade Easter Egg and using that hot pink color as kind of a nose contour of sorts. that I put too much a little bit of a long way with a loose highlighter but it was fun I mean this look was already a lot and then I'm also placing that highlight color in the inner corner of my eyes shade Cheeky. It's a nice reddish orange color with a little bit of a metallic fleck, but it's relatively sheer. And I decided I wanted a little more dimension, so then after that I went in with the House Labs Myth Pencil and just drew a line on the bottom. So this is the finished look. It is definitely not at all what I had planned on doing. I was planning on doing just a typical eye look, but I just started playing around with pulling the color out farther and farther and this is what I came up with and um, I'm kind of happy that I decided to do something different and more artsy because I have for quite some time wanted to just use the whole face as a canvas and that's exactly what I did today and I know that for many this may not be pretty or aesthetically pleasing but for me makeup is an art form and it's a way of self-expression and so yeah and you could definitely tone this look down by just you know focusing the eye like to here and not pulling the color like as far out you wouldn't have to bring on the lower part the color down as far but yeah I think this is pretty fun and I'm going to figure out what on earth I'm going to pair with this now so yeah I hope you enjoyed it and stay safe and stay safe oh my god stay safe and stay well bye